I had dropped my heavy bags down in the lobby of the dorm. Somehow I'd made it here to this seven-week summer fellowship at Carnegie Mellon University, so I was very thankful and proud to be here. So it stung after I told my dorm mate my age and he said, Ugh, I wouldn't want to be here when I'm 35. He just didn't know how lucky I was to have gotten here at all. He didn't know that I skipped around from school to school and from one group home, foster home, and juvenile hall to another throughout my teens. He didn't know that I returned home when I was 17 and never finished high school. He didn't know about walking through school hallways waiting for the next comment, never knowing when it would be hurled along with a punch. He didn't know the frustration my mother felt when I'd go to job interviews wearing a tie and my refusal to believe that this might have been why I wasn't getting hired. He didn't know anything about being a self-made man. He didn't know about being homeless, selling drugs, and sleeping in bushes during the day so I could be alert at night. He didn't know the starting and stopping of my faith in myself every time I failed a class, passed a class, enrolled in school, or dropped out. He didn't know how many times I almost believed my academic counselor's advice that I should consider an alternative to college. He didn't know working with kids in the inner city schools for five years and being angry that too many were discouraged and in danger of giving up like I did. He didn't know that this was why I decided to make an impact on this flawed system by completing college and eventually finishing a master's in public policy. He didn't know that a year ago, my spouse, my stepson, and I started our new lives in family housing at the UC Davis campus. He just didn't know anything of this kind of transition from pipe dream to possibility. He didn't know that a few months before I'd bumped into a homie from a group home while she worked a corner waiting for the next John, waiting for the next hit, and waiting to die. He didn't know that was supposed to be me. But instead, somehow, I was here dropping my heavy bags down in the lobby of a dorm at Carnegie Mellon University for the summer. <laughs>